percent of pastors I said. That would be uh, reading and teaching from the Bible, preaching the Bible. They're not money hungry. No. They got complete confidence in God to take care of you. But the devil sold a bill of lies. All they want is your money. That ain't true. That ain't true. It's probably some of the hardest work a man can do as pastor of a church. Amen. And by the way, the Bible did say, Yea, all those that live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. Yeah. One of the reasons a pastor suffers more than any other Christian is because most Christians aren't doing anything. The pastor's trying to do something. The pastor doesn't have anyone to help him. And you said it just the other day. Every man of God needs men of God. This man of God did what he was supposed to, headed home, and somebody told him, an angel told him. And he lied. But, but he lied. Look at verse 24, real quick. I'm almost done. The Bible said, And when he was gone, a lion met him by the way and slew him. And his carcass was cast in the way, and the ass stood by it. The lion also stood by the carcass. He didn't make it. But he lied to him. And, but he lied to him. And, and the, but he lied to him, and he bought the lie. Right, right. And it killed him. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's all right to skip church for a Sunday or two. No, don't buy that lie. The devil will keep you from church. Well, it's all right not to read my Bible for a day or two. No, don't buy the lie. He'll kill your relationship with God. Don't buy the devil's lie. Right, right, right. Yeah. And he's a master salesman. Yeah. He'll do whatever it takes to sell to you. Oh, you're tired. You're sitting by an oak tree. Hey, I have refreshments. You think that's a coincidence? The man of God just tore down an altar. He made a big, a, a big hole in the devil's side. He just showed people who's really boss. <laughs> Jeroboam or God? Uh, yeah, God just showed up. And then it just so happened that a prophet, a false prophet, hears about it. He just happens to have refreshments on him, ready for a party. No, sir. The devil's got no problem lying to you, and neither does the world. Tonight, as we stand and get ready for invitation, you've been lied to, and you bought it, and you know you If you got some sin in your life, I wonder if there's something on your devices that shouldn't be there. You've been a part of something you shouldn't have been a part of, but you bought the devil's lie, and you thought it was okay. Some of you tonight, you need to re-up. Yeah. You need to rededicate yourself to the work of God. It's not a game. It's something important. The devil sold it to you as a game, and you know it. Why don't you come forward and get that right? Why don't you come forward and ask God to help you? As the dance begins to play, y'all.